Oh, Mr. Neville. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I wasn't given a choice. What? Jean Daniel, this is inexcusable. He's an oaf and he misunderstands. What can I do? I can't fire him. He's family. I apologize. I'm Patrick Marcel. Please let me go. Not in such a state. I'm late for a very urgent meeting. The one with the people you are hoping will refinance your company. No? Huh? Yes. How do you know about that? <sighs> big secret. I'm in the business of knowing big secrets. I'm in venture capital myself. Believe me. I only had you brought here so I could make you a better offer. This would give you overall control of the company. But the company would be saved from extinction and you would still be running it at double the salary. What happens if I say no? It's a serious offer, Mr. Neville. I'm a serious player. But if you don't want to take it, then you can go. Will he come after me? No. You'll be hearing from my lawyers about your methods. So, he never turned up to the meeting to refinance his company, and nobody's seen him since? That's right. And it's happened more than once. Small company going to the wall, trying to stay afloat. An offer comes in, but it means handing over control. Oh, yeah. 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 But, Ross, there is nothing new in that. I mean, that is just business. It happens every day. Absolutely. But in all these cases, within hours of turning down the offer, the chief executive has either disappeared or died. Then, as if by magic, the deal gets done. Right. Same people every time. French money, one family. Now, this is a list of companies most at risk. Top is Newsom's. They're a custom truck designer. Rumor has it they've been approached already. Hey, I know one of these. Which one? Uh, this one, Weaponworks. It's a small arms import business. I know someone there. In fact, I'd like to warn her. Yeah, well, be careful what you tell her. Don't let her give the game away. Ros, please. I'm a professional. I'll tell you what I don't understand. What? Well, I mean, this French family with a big investment program. <laughs> Why are they buying up every loser in town? Now, imagine that's an enemy helicopter. <laughs> I'll try. I have serious doubts about the opposition, though. Just fire. Tiny filaments. Small enough to pass through a filter, but they stop any kind of motor dead. It doesn't kill anyone. It said exactly. It's a non-lethal weapon. That's all I'm dealing in now. Really? Yeah, what's, what's this guy? That's a glue gun. It's an immobilizer. This is small talk, Ed. You came here for a reason. What is that? Right. 
Now, what we've got to do is we've got to hit these guys before they hit the ground. <laughs> what do you think? What's the point of that? What's the point of that? What is the point of dinosaur biscuits? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Here, have a go. She's great. So, have you been approached? I'm a grown-up, Ed. This is my business. I know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to offer you some advice. Well, thanks. It's noted, OK? Very touchy. Look, just because I have to refinance doesn't mean I'm failing. You said anything about failure or refinance. I really don't want to talk about this right now. I'm going to make this work, but it'll be on my terms and nobody else's. That's what's got me worried, Claire. Oh, look. If I think I'm getting in too far, Who's the first person I'm going to run to? Hmm. That'll be my meeting. You go let him in. I'll find my way out. Oh, you know how much I hate that. Katie, I'm out of here. Katie? Earth to Katie. Earth to Katie. So you have been approached. They sent you, didn't they? No. How did he get their information? Because they seem to know more about my affairs than I do. Well, I was rather hoping you could tell me that. You see, you can tell those frogs to get back in the pond. All of this is mine, and I'm not selling out to anyone. Hard on the ears, isn't he? Mm. Ask him a simple question, he just explodes. Oh, it's one hell of an office party. What about your friend Claire? Is she okay? Who knows? She doesn't want to talk about it. Don't worry, Lena. We'll handle everything. We'll wire the place up, tap all the phones. Then when they make the next approach, we'll field it, OK? We pretend you're in charge for now. Exactly. Let one of us deal with them. Now, we're going to need your cooperation. Everyone's got to carry on working as normal. They're just trying to scare you, that's all. Huh. I'd say they were successful. There's a 20-year light bulb being developed just down the road. Really? Yes, saves so having to replace them every five minutes. Where is Mr. Newsom? Indisposed. I'm the new management. Well, just put the light You are nothing. I'm Patrick Marcel. I can see a future for this company. Enough of a future to make you a very generous offer. But I'm going to need my answer right now. Are we alone here? Yes. Yes, everybody else has gone home. Hmm. You seem to know this company better than I do. Let me explain the prospects to you this way. What if a small and struggling fish was suddenly to find its main competition, so to speak, dead in the water? <laughs> An outfit like this would put on a lot of value. Just what are you proposing? Huh? I have access to inside information. And some of the biggest players in the game. Don't ask me how. I'm buying up a whole range of small companies. And I'm choosing them very carefully. 
They'll expand to fill in any gaps left by those big players, should they happen to fall. So, huge businesses going bust just like that? Oh, it can happen. Especially... if this help. How? Partners. Yes? Or no? Well, I suppose it's got to be yes. Good choice. Here's a job I want you to do for me. A small contribution to the grand design. You know, you really would have regretted saying no. You know what it is? Yeah, it looks like a design file. What do you think it's for? Well, it uh, could be uh, ski jump. A new attachment for the Swiss Army knife? <laughs> Whatever it is, they want it mounted on one of your trucks. You're going to have to tell me what you want to do with this. Schedule a job and order the materials. What if we don't? They're going to wonder why. The bouncer, no, they seem to know everything else. Okay. There's got to be more to this. It's not just about buying companies up for their investment potential. They're out to do something very specific. Well, they seem to have such access to inside commercial information. What's the matter? Everything stops when the system backs itself up. It makes a full protection copy of everything every 24 hours. And if a bomb hits the place... So that's how you were able to get up and running again so quickly? Yeah. The office computer was completely wrecked. This way we can retrieve everything. Break the connection. That'll abort the backup. Yeah, I know. So who makes the copy and where's it kept? Computer Recall. They're one of the biggest of the computer backup facility houses. And before you start wondering, they're guaranteed secure. That's why so many people use them. Well, hang on a sec. Who owns Computer Recall? Get your stuff together, Katie. We're going home. OK. Where are you? Works. Okay, hi, it's me. Listen, I've got a really important question. Have you ever had any dealings at all with an outfit called Computer Recall? Ed, I don't understand what you mean. Claire, they are a dangerous bunch. They are not to be messed with. Now, you be straight with me. Are these the people who approached you? I can't talk right now. Good decision. My patience just ran out. is no. Wrong answer. Now you listen to me. You take my offer. Do exactly as I ask. I need your contribution to the grand design. Are you threatening me? Threatening you? I don't need to threaten you. Katie, run! <laughs> Uh, knew some coach builders. We lost our secure line in the middle of the backup procedure last night, so I, uh, I'm bringing you the discs. State your client ID number. Uh, 
1240. Please deposit your data in the safe. Our biggest clients are in London and Switzerland. Why is that? Multinational companies. You have to go where the power is. You've had a fire? Nothing that affected business. All our clients' data is stored on mainframes upstairs, which I'm afraid is one place I can't show you. Oh, that was rather the place I was hoping to see. It breaks my heart to disappoint you. We offer a level of protection no one else can match. Computer systems are so vulnerable. If you lose your data, you lose your business. We store updated copies of everything on a daily basis. And we offer a complete disaster recovery service. Who works here? Right here. Nobody. It's emergency office space. Spooky, no? None of it's ever been used, but it's always on standby. I can show you our client list. We have all kinds, from small businesses to big multinationals. They come to us because we're the best. We're bomb-proof, earthquake-proof, radiation-proof. Bug-proof? The walls, even the roof is shielded. No radio signal can get through. But tell me, what kind of needs have you? This is just an inquiry. Does someone live here? Oh, the place is so grim. I had to add a few comforts. My paintings, my sculpture. Your milk, your dinosaur biscuits. My guilty secret. Thank you very much. I've got a lot to think about. And now, thanks to you, so have I. Are we getting a signal out of Ed's briefcase camera? I'm getting something here. Do they search you going in? No, but they wouldn't let me anywhere near the secure area either. So where did you put the radio relay? On the building's earth wire. What'll that do? We'll pick up the camera signal inside the building, carry it down the wire, and out through the radio show. Very oh. good. Now, this is the level I didn't get to see. Those must be the mainframes. Just imagine what all the information on those mainframes could be worth. Updated nightly and handed over free. Are we saving this on tape or digital replay? Both. Ah, oh, now this must be where they break it down. And that must be Monsieur Big. Well, whoever that is, it's not Patrick Marcel. You're right. That's the chauffeur. What's going on? You know, I think this is about the fact that Patrick looks the part, so he plays it, but it's actually Son of Kong who's got the brains. I think we've been rumbled. Hey, Bigot. Can you replay that last bit? Why? What did you say? Uh, freeze. Zoom in. Enhance. Can you go on about ten frames?
Don't ask. I burgled my way in. I didn't think there was any point asking you to see me. What do you want? Where's Katie? At home. Can I see her? No. They've got her, haven't they? That's the hold they've got over you. I don't know what you mean. Don't lie to me, Claire. I can help you. I don't need your help. Will you just go? What are you expecting? I know a video link when I see one. A conference call? It's a private thing. Oh, Ed, please. Claire, come on. After all the time we've known each other, can't you... Can't you just trust me? Ed, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Did you bug this room? Swear to me. Of course I didn't. Rolls over to you. I'm coming down. Please stand by. Your call will be connected shortly. Well, she's too scared to confirm it, but I'm convinced it's true. I think the video link's part of a way of keeping up the pressure. Why did you get me to put the phone receiver next to the screen? Any phone line picks up the radiation from any screen that it's close to. And with the right box of bits, you can take a signal off the line and reproduce the screen image without even cutting into the wire. Hyper-elegant, highly secret, and you don't have to plant a device. Good grief. Bugged by your own phone. And anyone can do it. Is that her? Yeah. Mummy's here, Katie. How are you doing, hmm? I want to go home. I'm working on it, sweetie. What are they giving you to eat? Pizzas. Just pizzas? They're giving me salads as well, but I leave that. You shouldn't leave it. It's the best part. At school, we talked about giving things up for Lent. And I've given up lettuce. As if for now, do your job well and we'll have no more problems. Go ahead, Beckett. What have you found? The complete rogues gallery. That's what I'm going to say on the air. I've been online to news agencies in Paris. Look at these. All members of the same family, all in different French jails for supplying and dealing in narcotics. Our two were the only two that weren't implicated. Patrick was sent to school over here. It seems he wasn't too bright, but it was a public school, so he fitted in just fine. Now, John Daniel. Here's the real black sheep of the family. Incredibly tough. This guy's a bit of a worry. Seems he joined the French Foreign Legion, but soon quit, claiming that it was full of sissies. As soon as the family business ran into problems, the prodigal returned and took over. Then he was given the family fortune to invest. With the instruction, think big, think bent. Newsom's coach builders. We uh, we lost our secure line in the middle of the backup procedure last night. So I'm. Uh... Is this what they wanted from you? 
If I don't bring them these, they'll hurt Katie. This is what Lena's vehicle's for. It's a missile launcher. What kind of warhead is this? Claire. It's a pulse weapon. They explode in the air and emit a powerful burst of energy. Hardly anyone dies. But every computer within range gets wiped. Can we disable this thing, buy some time? No. No risks. Not with my daughter's life. Just load it in the van. You're making a big mistake, Claire. Claire, what do you think they're going to do when they get what they want? Give her a party bag and send her home? I'm going to do exactly what they want me to do and no one's going to interfere. Get back against the wall. I'm sorry. Get back it, I'll follow her. Gizmos. Hold on, I'll be right. Go ahead. I think they've got Beckett. Are you sure? Well, I've got a bomb site. I've got no Beckett. I've got a calling card from Computer Recall. Now, that says hostage to me. What are we going to do? With a truckload of missiles about to hit the road, we do exactly what he'd want us to do. Carry on and stop them. Ed, I think your friend Claire is just about to find out that gangsters don't keep their promises. Now, leave me alone. I'm very busy. No, hang on. Never touch the suit. When are you gonna let her go? I don't know. Ask my brother.
recognize them. London and Geneva, computer recall's biggest clients are in those cities. We worked hard to fix it that way. Can you imagine why? I think I probably can. You sell your services to huge multinationals as well as struggling little minnows. You knock out the big boys and bring forward your own companies to step into their shoes? And how? You kill everything on their main computers? Of course. Using something like a pulse weapon from your own arms dealers. Now this building, this building's protected from electromagnetic waves. A pulse weapon wouldn't touch us unless it went off on the inside. So all your computers remain safe. You know you're going to die. Yeah. Yeah, I'd work that out. Just so we know where we stand. that hungry look, I can launch the missiles anywhere out in the open. anything vital unless of course it's on you hostage we already have your friend as a hostage that doesn't seem to have worked once Sean Danielle starts the launch procedure nothing will stop it they said you weren't the bright one what's that I said I wouldn't want to be you oh really well let me tell you something this is only the beginning I'm gonna go a long way further than you think One, 
Geneva. Business district. Elevation, 100 meters. Very impressive. I could put it through a window if I wanted to. But with an airburst, I can cover a whole area. Target two. Those giants are going to die like the dinosaurs they are when the magnetic storm comes raining down. through to reach that wire. My hands are too big. You've got small hands. Do you think you can reach the wire? Okay. Damn, it's like a gorilla in a concrete fortress. You're trying to prove, Claire. They promised me. They promised you. Now you know how much that's worth. Go a bit further. He's good. He's very, very good. Claire, I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. Behind the van, quick. Elevation, minus 100 meters. Let's hope none of the fish are wearing pacemakers, eh? You see, Katie, this is where the missiles are steered from, which means we can make them alter their course and hit a different target. Somewhere where they'll be harmless, like the bottom of the lake. I just wish it was as simple as it looked. I can't... Hold this. <laughs> Thank you. Now, please go.
souvenir, OK? Thanks. I think that sounds like a good reason to find a lift. Can you? That way? They're all in there. I mean, I don't know how they're going to get out. I think I can fix that. Get in. Very touching, but futile. I put in the range, I put in the size of target, and in return, I get. Just hold it a second. Something you should be asking me. Like what? Like exactly where did we aim the second missile? Ah, you see, that has electronic ignition. The pulse bomb just destroyed it. This does not. No, sir, just an old-fashioned trigger. See, it's a glue gun. The harder you struggle, the tougher it gets. Hey, stick around. <laughs> Come on, Casey, let's find the stairs. Gripping, isn't it? Ow! Careful? That's 
thought Beckett always said he didn't like children. Don't you believe Can it? Can anyone hear me? Underneath it all, he's a big softy. <laughs> I've got a small problem up here. <laughs> the ones here. who say that usually are. Not good enough. Oh. Try again. They're playing so nicely together. Hey, so <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the way grown-ups do things. Still not good enough. <laughs> All right, joke's a joke, OK? Now, now take this stuff off me. Take Not it off. Good enough. Try again. Ed! Look, my arms and legs have gone completely dead. What if I never walk again? Do you think perhaps... Uh, Roz, I mean it. One of us should go oh, up. come on, guys. No. Seems a shame when they're having so much fun. Not good enough. Yes. Try again. Good babysitters are hard to come by. Ed! Ed, Roz! They're not coming. Come up here now, please. More tea, ladies. I can hear Uncle Ed calling you. Listen, your mum, she's lovely. You know, we'd probably get along really well, but marriage. 